Hey guys, it's Scott here from the fragrance channel Scott Aromatico and welcome. So you guys know about Ferrari, you know about Lamborghini, you know about Jaguar, you know about Mercedes, you know about all these luxury car companies, but did you also know they make fragrances? Well today we're going to talk about five offerings. Want to find out more? Then stay tuned. guys welcome back before i get started on the review i just wanted to say if you're a fan having to do with anything fragrance related then you're at the right place please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and if you find any value today whatsoever from the video then please go ahead and hit that like button okay let's go ahead and dive right in like i said you guys know all about the luxury car companies you know about ferrari and lamborghini and jaguar well did you guys also know they make fragrances if you're new to the fragrance community, you might not have known that. If you're one of the OGs, then you probably did. Well, today I've got five offerings that I want to talk about. And now, guys, with these five offerings, all of these companies make way more than what I'm testing out today. There's tons in the lines, and so there you might find one that's right for you. But um, I'm just doing these five, and uh, we'll just kind of evaluate what I feel about them based on these five fragrances. So the first one I want to talk about is Jaguar Pace. Jaguar Pace is an aromatic forget. It was launched in 2016. Pace was created by Alexandra Monet and Philip Romano. The top notes are rosemary, black pepper, and green apple. In the heart, we have lavender, iris, and cashmere wood. And in the base, we have patchouli, amberwood, and moss. All right, guys, here's what the presentation looks like. It's the cap. Let's go ahead and spray it. Let you guys see how the atomizer is. Hmm. Man, this fragrance is really nice. It's very fresh, spicy. It's got an earthy tone. I'm guessing that's coming from the patchouli. Slight fruitiness. There's definitely a warming vibe. The lavender, I'm starting to pick that up as well. I love fragrances that have lavender. So yeah, it's just a fresh, fruity, slightly spicy, a little bit warming uh, fragrance. The, the earthiness in this is not too bad. All right, so all in all, guys, this is a nice, fresh, fruity, a little bit earthy fragrance. To me, this fragrance is, mainly, is meant to be worn in the summertime. It's just a, a fun, uh, flirty fragrance that you can get away with wearing jeans and a t-shirt, shorts, or flip-flops. Um, not, not necessarily dress it up. It's very mass appealing, so it's not offensive, and you can wear it in the, in the office. Nice. I call this a blind grab-and-go. You're running errands in the summertime. Um, you can just grab this and spray it on. And you can also be liberal with it because it doesn't last all that long, and the price is not all that uh, high. I think I got this at a really good price. Now, as far as finding this, I don't think it's all that easy to find. It may even be discontinued. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if it is, because I can't remember. As that's Jaguar Pace. So the next fragrance I want to do is by Ferrari. And this one is Pure Lavender by Ferrari. This is an aromatic forger. Pure Lavender was launched in 2015. In the top, we've got cardamom, bergamot, and lemon. And in the heart, we've got lavender and sage. And in the base, we have cashmere wood, vanilla, and patchouli. All right, guys. This is the presentation. It's got a cool cap. All right. Let's go ahead and spray this one on my wrist. I can definitely smell the lavender. It's not all that strong, it's kind of light. There's something very uh, herbal about this. You can definitely smell the citrus. It's very musky. It's a very soft fragrance. I've, I've tested this out and I've worn it before. It doesn't last all that long on me. I think I got like two hours out of this. This is definitely a nice summertime fragrance and uh, it's, I hate to use this word because people say this a lot, but there's something synthetic about it. I don't love this fragrance. I don't hate it. 
Um, again, this is a fragrance I'll probably wear a lot in the summertime and I'll just apply it liberally and spray the crap out of it and not care if I'm wasting it because this fragrance didn't cost me that much. Again, in the business, we call that what a blind grab and go, a dumb reach, um, whatever you want to call it. But it's just a soft, spicy, musky uh, fragrance. There's a hint of sweetness in it. Again, you've got kind of like this earthiness, like this greenness to it. It's a, it's a bit herbal. You know, it's okay. Um, I'm glad I have it, you know, in my collection because I'll just, like I said, when I'm going out running errands or if I go to the pool or um, whatever, I'll just spray it and, and go. Um, by no means is this my Sunday best fragrance or my board meeting fragrance or that fragrance I want to wear when I want to seal the deal. But uh, it's all in all for what it's worth and how much I paid for it. I think this fragrance was like 20 something. Um, so it's not a bad price. Um, there are a whole lot of other offerings by Ferrari and by no means have I smelled them all. But um, just from smelling this, I hope the rest of them don't smell like this because it's got a bit of a synthetic vibe going on. But it's okay. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just okay. I've smelled better lavender in this and other fragrances, but Ferrari Pure Lavender, take that for what you will. If you love this fragrance, by all means, you know, spray away, but it's not my favorite. So the next fragrance we're going to do is by Mercedes-Benz. This is Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Mercedes-Benz Cologne is a citrus aromatic fragrance for men. It was launched in 2016. The nose behind this fragrance is Oliva Cresp. The top notes are grapefruit, mandarin orange, Brazilian orange, and pink pepper. In the heart, we've got lemon, ginger, and in the base, we have some musk, vetiver, and white woods. I really love the presentation of this one. I love that cap. This fragrance is super heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. I really like it. And I've sprayed this one before when I first got it. This one was hard to find. This one's been on my list, I must admit. The reason why I was so interested in this is because I saw Ross from TLTG Reviews talk about this one. And it took me a long time to finally find this. Find this. And then one day I saw it on, I think it was Fragrance X or Fragrance Net. I can't remember which. And I gobbled it up as soon as I could. So let's go ahead and give this one. We'll do the inside of my wrist here. And just for the presentation. Okay. Good atomizer. I really, really, really like this fragrance. This is really, really nice. It's very, very citrusy, which is what you'd expect. I kind of smell that vetiver and the musk really kicking in. The ginger, just a hint of the ginger. Guys, this is just a, out of the three I've done so far, this one is the best. This one is a perfect fragrance for the summertime. Unfortunately, I believe it's discontinued and it's really hard to find. But the citrus in this is really, really, really nice. I, I really love it a lot and it's so musky and the vetiver in this is blended really well. This is a really good offering by Mercedes and this one is perfect for the summertime. This is a great beach fragrance, a uh, great poolside, lake, ocean, whatever, whatever it may be, guys, this is perfect. And if you can get a hold of this one or find it somewhere, I would highly recommend it. This one is very mass appealing. It'll probably get you a few compliments. And so if you want, if you're starting a collection and you're one of those guys who, or gals who looks for uh, hard to find fragrances, I would recommend and own in this one. So go ahead and look for it and see if you can grab it because it's worth having. The citrus in this is so nice. And uh, like I said, jeans, flip flop, t-shirt, wear it to work however you want to wear it to those summertime weddings. Perfect fragrance. All right, guys. Next one we're going to talk about. This one, to me, is the best of the bunch. I should have saved the best for last, but we're going to go ahead and talk about this one, guys. This is by Bentley. It's called For Men Intense. Guys, you know about this fragrance. This one is absolutely amazing. We'll go ahead and tell you that this one was launched in 2013. The nose behind this fragrance is... The Tali Lorsen in the top, we've got the black pepper, you've got the bay leaf and the bergamot, and in the heart, you've got some rum, you've got some woody notes, cinnamon, clary sage, African geranium, and in the base, we've got incense, leather, benzoin, patchouli, and cedar. 
Guys, this one is another bottle with some weight, just like that Mercedes bottle. This one's got some weight to it. I like it a lot. The presentation is really cool. Here's the cap. It says Bentley on top, and the cap's heavy as well. It just kind of clips into place. I like that sound. We'll go ahead and spray this one. Man. Okay, if you're starting a collection, and I know a lot of places, I live in South Carolina, so it's starting to warm up for me. It's getting to be in the high 50s, mid 60s sometimes. We hit 70, it goes up and down here. I know a lot of you guys experience long winters. If you're new, by all means, trust me on this one, blind buy. I don't normally recommend that. I always say sample, sample, sample. You can blind buy Bentley for men of tents. This is niche quality. The price is so freaking good. So far, all these fragrances I've found, I've got around somewhere between $20 to $30 mark. This one is no different. You can find it anywhere from 30, somewhere between the 30 and 40 mark. This is so beautiful. It's, it's boozy. Um, it's got a hint of leather. It's warm. It's spicy. It's so intoxicating. You can wear this on a date. If you're just trying to have a mood enhancer, then this is the one for you. The bergamot on top definitely gives it this effervescence. It's sweet. It's smoky. It's smooth. It's gorgeous for the winter. It proje projects like crazy in the wintertime. And that's what this fragrance is made for. Um, you're going to have the best luck wearing this in the, in the fall, winter, maybe some, well into the cooler spring months. But after that, it's really not all that good in the summertime. It'll just get cloying and, and just super sweet. And, uh, and you, you won't want to wear it in the, in the summertime. So not meant for the high heat. But guys, starting a collection, this is a winter banger. You can wear this to the office. You can dress this up. You can wear it to church, wear it for the board meeting. And guys, this one actu actually represents the car to me. Out of the, out of the th four so far that I've talked about, Bentley, you know Bentley as luxury. You're a boss. You're a superstar. And that's what this cologne is too. Finally, last but not least, we're going to do an offering by Lamborghini. I uh, wasn't really familiar with this one, but I went ahead and bought it. And it didn't cost me that much. I think it cost me like 15 bucks. Guys, this is Lamborghini Classico. I love the bottle. It's pretty cool. This was launched in 2013. The nose behind this fragrance is Eleanor Messine. In the top, we have lemon, some cardamom, passion fruit, and in the heart, we've got lavender, sage, and basil. I'm noticing a trend with most of these fragrances. They have lavender, with the exception of the Bentley Men. Um, we've got cardamom, um, passion fruit. In the mid, we've got lavender, sage, and basil. And in the base, we have tonka bean, benzoin, and woody notes. All right, let's go ahead and spray this one in the air as well. Again, here's the presentation. The cap is just very light. It looks better than it is. It's just very cheap and plasticky. It weighs nothing. It feels like a piece of paper. But anyway. Okay. Let's go ahead and spray this one. All right. I've already lived with this fragrance uh, before I've sprayed it. You know, I spray a lot of these fragrances before I do reviews. You know, throughout the week and I, I test them, I wear them at work just to see how long they last. Um, I think this one lasted 30 seconds. <laughs> you can't even smell it. It's like flavored water or it might just be water. I don't know. But uh, I think you'd probably get more of a scent from, you know, some kind of flavored water. Or if you put a little bit of Gatorade on your neck, you might smell a little bit better than this one does. Um, like I said, this one is worth the $15. It's not horrible. I mean, it, I, I hate crapping on people's fragrances and, and their dream but guys I wouldn't recommend this one there's just nothing to it I mean with for all the ingredients that are in here with vanilla I mean it is fresh it's nice if you do go ahead and grab this one man, maybe you can spray it on your laundry spray it on your pillows spray it on your linens or you know keep it in the car and spray it on the fabric in there if you got kids or animals and it might be good for that, but this doesn't last. I mean, it's just so light and it goes away instantaneously. Um, but for $15, I wanted to give it a try. Um, I love luxury cars. I'm a big car guy. Um, and so when I find out that they make fragrances, you know, I want to see if they fit the bill. You know, a lot of these car companies have reputations for being luxurious. I wanted to see if the fragrances held up. But so far, the only two that have was this one and this one and there are other ones guys i didn't even know that fiat makes one that's really cool it actually looks like the car it looks like a fiat car and it's so cool i want to get that one as well 
and I saw Porsche has one that's called Porsche Design. I don't know how that smells. If any of you guys have smelled that one, let me know down in the comments. Um, I was thinking about pulling the trigger on that just to see how it smells. So guys, there you have it. Those are my, my five and by no means is this a representation because all these companies have a whole lot more offerings and uh, I might like some, some of the other offerings from Ferrari or from Jaguar um, or from maybe from Lamborghini for all that matter. But to me, these two are the best. So if you guys are looking for fragrances, and I know Mercedes makes some absolute killers and some other lines as well. Uh, tell me the names of those ones, guys, down in the comments section. So those are the two that won out in this one. Um, so guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. What are your favorite car company brands? Do you have any of these? I'd love to know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much, guys, so for following and subscribing. If you liked this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Guys, remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells good. Ciao.